Hello everyone, welcome back to Techno Charts YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to look at three stocks that are at very important critical supports. And if market reverses from this point, then these stocks are the first one that can move up. And if market conditions worsen up more, then these stocks are going to definitely break down further. So what are these three stocks? So the three stocks that we are going to look today is PNC Infra, Deepak Nitrite and Balaji Amines. All of the three stocks have excellent fundamentals and have given good returns in the past in terms of technicals as well as fundamentals. So we are going to use the simple concept of supply and demand where the stock after returning to the demand zone generally moves up. So what is the general criteria of trading using this criteria, right? So in this case, whenever you see that a stock is moving sideways zone and is hitting multiple times the support and resistance, in that case, you simply draw a support area. Right. So this is generally the uh, support area or the demand zone for the stock and stock moves up generally after this. So in this case where you should enter and what should be your stop loss. Whenever you are using this strategy where the stock is staying sideways, generally you should not look at the moving averages because moving averages will be flat. In that case where you should enter, you should be entering near the lowest point of the support or you should be entering near this areas. Right. If you enter near these areas, then your stop loss will be very small around 4 to 5 percent in this case. And your target could be uh, simple of 1 is to 1 that is 4, 4 to 5 percent or 1 is to 2 depending upon the market condition. So we should be looking to enter near this area, keeping the stop loss below the resist support area and keeping a target of 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 2, whatever suits the best. Right. So looking at the chart of PNC Infra. Uh, now in this case as you see i have drawn the uh, demand zone for this stock so using the simple demand zone we see that the stock is reversing from this area multiple number of times as we can see here as we can see here right as again we have seen that the stock has reversed from this area and this was previously the supply zone as we can see here right so if we use the simple concept of supply and demand the stock has high probability to move up from this area now last time when the stock had hit near this area the stock had moved around let us calculate the stock had moved around 20 percent right so again the stock has high probability of moving around 10 to 15 percent definitely with a small stop loss of 5 percent so in this case where should we keep our stop loss our stop loss should be around 255 rupees that is around that is around five and half percent right so in this case we can keep a stop loss of 255 rupees with a target of two 300 rupees the first target would be around 10 percent that is the first uh, stock that we are looking now so the second stock that we are going to look forward is of, of deepak night right now in this case let us draw the simple demand zone for this stock now simply using the rectangle tool we are now drawing the demand zone so in this case you see that this stock has very strong support at around 2050 levels so now if you take an entry at 2085 levels you can keep a stop loss of around 2000 rupees so uh, that is of 85 rupees and you can keep a target of around 2400 rupees that is uh, around 20 percent so let us now check the risk to reward ratio before entering into this particular trade now how to check the risk to reward ratio go into the tool section you can see a long position tool here once you do this keep a target uh, you can scroll it your target around 2400 and you can move your stop loss around 2000 levels so in this case you see a risk to reward of 2.7 rupees right so that means for every one rupee that you are risking you have a probability of making 2.7 rupees right so this is a good trade that you can you can trade now these stocks are not for long term trading these these stocks are strictly for short term only or for swing trading only and definitely do not hold these stocks if they break these levels because if uh, the stock is breaking down this level then definitely the stock is going to go much much lower so don't keep hopes and use stop loss strictly because overall the market conditions are really weak and the third stock that we are looking is balaji amine of the same chemical category so in this case we can see that this was the demand a supply zone for this stock and which has now turned into the demand zone right so let us now see how the stock has reversed multiple times from this levels right so we have seen that the stock has reversed from this level multiple number of times so in this case we can confirm that the stock has very strong demand at around these these levels so we can keep a stop loss of uh, uh, below 
2800 rupees that is around 4 to 5 percent in this case so and what should be the target your target should be at around 3600 rupees that is around 20 percent so these are the three stocks that are trading at very important supports now uh, these stocks are strictly not for long term trading these are only for swing trade and as the stocks are at very important support they have a higher probability if market reverses these stocks will break down much much faster okay so uh, yeah. now update about the previous stocks that we had shared in in our uh, youtube video so some of the stocks have already hit our stop losses in many cases so i would suggest you to exit in those stocks please do not trade breakouts in this market because most of the breakouts are failing after the second day only so breakout trading is not advisable rather look for stocks that are at a very important support or look for stocks that are uh, retesting the previous breakout areas right so uh, take an entry near these areas and if the breakout is successful or the retest is successful then you can add on the further quantity but not take a trade directly near this area because um, many of our stocks that we had traded in the uh, or that i had shared in the youtube video have failed that is definitely if you had placed stop loss then that wouldn't have been an uh, the loss wouldn't have been the issue because the stop loss for each and every trade should be at around 5 to 7 percent maximum so you have not uh, much to lose in these cases and if you are not using stop loss then the loss is purely yours because stop loss is really important in trading and if you like the video do share it with your friends and hit like and subscribe thank you